Hi there, I'm Dr. Matt Dennis. I'm a lecturer in geography at the University of Manchester, and I'm also the director of the MSc in Geographical Information Science. I'm going to take you through a short presentation I've put together to give you an idea of the sorts of things you'll, you'll experience and learn on the course. So, a word about Manchester. The city itself is a good reason to study here. Manchester is one of the best places to live in the UK, according to international surveys. And you'll be joining a network of over 40,000 students from more than 160 countries. And you'll enjoy a culturally and academically rich learning environment for that reason. You'll become part of a strong academic heritage that's produced over 25 Nobel Prize winners over the years. And you'll enjoy the high level of investment in student resources that are standing as a prestigious institution allows us to make. Okay, why geography at Manchester? Well, if you're going to do geography, we're one of the best places in the UK to study, according to The Guardian, and international league tables put us in the top 25 for studying geography globally. The vast majority of our research outputs are considered to be internationally excellent or world leading, and you'll be taught by the same people carrying out such work and having those skills and expertise at your disposal. In addition to the excellent staff that we have, we also have world leading learning resources such as our high spec physical geography laboratories and computer labs. So where can a geography masters take you? Well, the strong reputation of the university means that we are one of the most targeted uh, by top graduate employers from a range of sectors, including environmental research and consultancy, project management, forestry, as well as the planning and infrastructure sectors for which the handling and analysis of spatial data in particular is becoming increasingly central to their operations. So in addition to the MSc in GIS that I run, we also offer for other programmes at master's level. So you can study for an MSc in environmental governance directed by Dr. Joe Blakey, environmental monitoring, modelling and reconstruction with uh, Dr. G uh, Claire Goulsborough, an MSc in data science, also directed by Claire. And for those of you with interest leaning more towards human geography, you can take our MSc in research methods directed by Dr. Amy Barron. For more information on these courses, you can email the program directors directly, at the, the address is shown here, or alternatively, you can explore these courses using the link there at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so the MSc in Geographical Information Science, directed by me. GIS is a multidisciplinary science that draws on spatial concepts and applications that can be used to explore a vast array of real world problems. For this reason, the skills you'll learn on the course are relevant to a range of professions. So in particular, you'll gain skills on the use of GIS and remote sensing, including spatial analysis and modeling, as well as experience using programming languages such as JavaScript, Python, and R. Large parts of the course focus on data analysis and interpretation and the writing of scientific reports on your findings. And we know from consultation with the Royal Geographical Society and uh, large environmental organizations with the uh, graduate recruitment schemes, that these are the sorts of desirable skills that employers are currently looking for. Okay, so whilst on the course, you'll get hands-on experience of a range of techniques applied to a diverse data types from more traditional land survey data, uh, for example, from the Ordnance Survey to Earth observation data from the latest satellite missions. You'll learn how to apply techniques to these data to explore Earth surface processes, such as large scale uh, land cover change and patterns such as the delineation of ecological communities within landscapes. So what we aim to get across to you is the is the power of spatial data really and associated techniques to unlock the character of landscapes and the environments that we live in and what they can tell us. You'll get the opportunity to apply what you've learned to real world examples and using examples of live research being carried out in the department. So for example, you learn how to carry out species distribution modeling and floodplain delineation analysis that is currently being used by geographers at Manchester to assess the impact of species reintroduction programs 
such as that of the Eurasian beaver at the European scale. On the more human geography side, you'll get to uh, you'll get the opportunity to explore issues related to things such as environmental justice through the mapping of access to urban green space for different socio-demographic groups, and you'll get to test GPS tracking methods currently being used by researchers at Manchester to investigate levels of community integration in uh, contested urban areas. You'll focus on some of the major environmental challenges facing populations today, such as urban air quality, urban surface temperatures, access to nature, and how we can explore solutions to these challenges by characterising them as inherently spatial problems. So one of the modes of learning that we employ on many of our uh, courses focuses on student-led learning and student-led project design and implementation. And in this way, you'll have multiple opportunities to focus on the sorts of themes and, and questions that appeal to you. Here we've got a couple of examples from students currently taking our digital terrain analysis module. And I think this, this sort of work exemplifies the range of interests and contexts that you'll be able to explore. So from analysis of river evolution with, using LIDAR data to exploring the topography of, of volcanoes on the sur surface of Mars. So the applications that you can explore, as you can see, are literally out of this world. You'll receive a solid foundation in those key frameworks and platforms currently uh, used in industry. And you'll get experience of all these major software applications and programming languages. And you'll finish the course in a great position to continue using GIS or remote sensing as qualified practitioners or researchers in whatever field you choose to enter. Here's a breakdown of the different uh, course units available on my program. So you'll take two core units each semester that will cover both fundamental GIS and remote sensing concepts and techniques. And they'll ensure that you gain experience of uh, coding and provide you with training on research design to prepare you for your dissertations, which usually take place during the uh, summer semester. In addition, you get to choose from a broad range of optional modules and that allows you to tailor the course really according to your own specific interests. Uh, how to apply? So there is a fast track scheme for current students, so third years thinking of doing a master's, and that enables you to apply for and proceed straight on to postgraduate master's study, bypassing the traditional application process really. And using this fast track uh, approach, you're not normally required to submit references or transcripts. If you are interested, simply email seed.admissions at manchester.ac.uk with the name of your of the course that you're interested in and your full name and student ID. Funding. There is funding available to cover fees. So one of them is a competitive scholarship offered by the school. Uh, another is for alumni students. So there's a £3,000 reduction in fees for self-financing students who've obtained a first class degree from the University of Manchester. So something to consider there. There's the Manchester Masters Bursary. So the university offers uh, 75 bursaries for people to go on to do masters worth £4,000 each. And that's for prospective students from widening participation backgrounds. In addition, we, there, you, if all that fails, let's say, you can still take a graduate, a postgraduate loan from the government to cover uh, the, the price of the fees. For more information on this, either get in touch with me or use the link at the bottom of the screen there for the full lowdown on these different uh, schemes. OK, so to find out more, you can go to our website or please feel free to email me directly. Thanks for listening.